Thank you very much. Um, well, first, it cost me uh, some of my time to speak to you, but f I would like to uh, say uh, a, a big thank you on behalf of Blickup Work for all my colleagues on the project, for their stimulating debates uh, until uh, now, and perhaps a little bit, okay. especially for uh, age management, for all the organization and uh, the uh, and all the efforts they uh, they had. To, uh, really, thank you very much. And for us, it was very interesting because we were, in a way, forced to think about a subject which we didn't want to think about very much. Uh, and so, well, uh, afterwards, uh, we thought it, it was a very fruitful debate. And for us, it's still work in progress, as you will uh, see. Um, what is this one? Yeah. Okay, then uh, something about uh, the Institute Blick of Work, uh, who our chairperson uh, was pronouncing very well. It means uh, in English uh, a view on work. And uh, we are uh, an independent foundation, a quality institute as we call it, uh, working on uh, sustainable work, workability, uh, reintegration services and language schools for integration. If you want to ask more there are two other colleagues besides Jan and me uh, at, uh, at present, uh, and they know a lot, a lot of more about all these fields. Uh, it is our mission to promote and guarantee the quality of, uh, of services in this field, so we check if they, they deliver good work. Uh, workability is one of the uh, topics uh, we are working on since about 2006-2007. Jan went also uh, quite some time to uh, Finland also, and we uh, work in the Netherlands, you can read it also in the first output one. In the Netherlands we work with specialized services who are working for employers and employees on uh, uh, health issues, amongst others. So that's not the task of Blickerberg but of commercial uh, organizations who are doing that. But we are working with them, and one of the advantages, and that's where we differ a little bit from uh, the debate also about uh, the uh, data, we like to collect the data, very much so. So we have this big database of about 600,000 records at the moment. Uh, for 2022, 20, uh, we got about 60,000 uh, records of, uh, of why, uh, uh, questionnaires, and we are each year we are, we are using the Y for uh, for making a report on the, on the outcome. You can look at it. It's called Blick op Werkvermogen. Uh, www, and you can see there more information. So. Uh, what are we going to talk about? Um, first, it's already mentioned also by Ferenc and Alec, and also Ilona, about the discussion workability and unemployed. Uh, then uh, the most part of it uh, are the results of our testing, uh, and in the end we will uh, make some remarks about uh, how to go further. Let us look first at the question about workability or the ability to work. And the phrase we stole a little bit from Alec, so thank you for that. And it's a, 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 a phrase which we discussed in the, also in the international group quite some, uh, quite a, a lot of times because it's, uh, as you also saw in the presentation of Ilona, the, there's this debate on if, if it, how do you measure the workability of someone who doesn't has uh, who do, who don't who doesn't work, that's a, a, a sort of very fundamental issue, and you have to change the definition, and you have to change also to modify the questions you're asking. There is no, not a lot of research on the question of workability and uh, unemployed. There is a a, a, a study from uh, Gaulik and Hill, as I pronounce it correctly, from 2011. But that's the only real serious study there is, uh, as far as we, we, we know. But the questionnaire, and one of the aspects is that the questionnaire of the why must uh, include other aspects and other uh, exchanged questions 
uh, to determine the workability or the ability to work from unemployed on skills, health, vitality, employability, training and education, coaching, and some other aspects which I will tell you later. So then, there you see Jan, and this is uh, from uh, a first part of uh, the, uh, the testing we, which, which we're, we're doing. It's uh, quite informal, as you see. Uh, each uh, meeting, we had two meetings, one with the, the group and one it, it, with every individual uh, person. Lasted about two and a half, three hours uh, in a small uh, part of uh, The Hague. Uh, and you see a, a group of persons, all unemployed, uh, working uh, with uh, the questionnaire. It's a group um, who are uh, quite uh, uh, not atypical, but different from uh, the, the usual unemployed persons, because in the Netherlands you have a, a attention to those who have a big chance of getting back to work. There's all the focus and attention of the organizations on, but there's a lot, a big group, and it's called the Granite, um, uh, the Granite Foundation or group. And there's not so much interest on, uh, on behalf of the government or the city of helping these people back to work. And we started with 11. After the first th session, we came back and there were not Everybody came back, but one especially not because she did find work in this uh, in this week. So that's really unjustified, and I will explain that later. But we were uh, so we ended up with ten persons in in the testing phase um, and six uh, employed. Something about uh, the participants. Um, there was, a, uh, as you say, 11 employ unemployed, but it, it, it must be, I thought it, I must be correct, but it was, I, we ended with 10. Um, quite uh, every age, every uh, education, uh, households, most of them uh, were married and living together one for one person and 11 were Dutch and five other, and it depends on, uh, but most of them did have, have has a Dutch passport, or were mig migrant laborers, or had, had an origin of migrant laborers. Uh, in the first session, we talked a lot about, also with them, about work and work history. Uh, there were some questions also about it. Uh, and it was really interesting to hear the stories about their career up until uh, then. Uh, most of them had 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 a job for much longer than a year. Most of them also liked the job they 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 did, and most of them thought their job was fitting. And it was all different from cleaning to uh, healthcare to very very different. The reasons of unemployment was that most of them had. Uh, got ill. Medical problems were, were the m major reason why they were, were unemployed. And only some of them, the contract was not extended. But when you got ill, some of them, their contracts were not extended, but the real reason was um, medical problems. The group is very active in, in uh, a way. We were, were surprised by that. Uh, uh, almost everybody was actively participating uh, as a volunteer in all sorts of work for more than 12 hours a week. So that's uh, quite a ra uh, rather high uh, um, uh, thing. And almost everybody is available for work. Only one said, well, I don't know if I can or I should because of medical uh, health. But uh, ah, I'll have to hurry <laughs> a little bit. Um, uh, everybody was, uh, oh yes, uh, taking care of children or uh, uh, taking care of par parents and family were a lot of reasons why they are not uh, fully uh, uh, ready to work for f full time. Uh, 
Ferenc also gave us some examples about uh, the questions in uh, the seven questions of uh, the seven themes of the workability uh, index. Uh, we translated them, uh, and as you see, one of the first is if you gave 10 points to your workability in the best period of your life, how many points would you have to give to your workability right now? All these were changed, in, uh, for, uh, especially for unemployed, un unemployed. If you think about the work, you, the, the best period of work that you did, how do you think uh, you are able to go back to that kind of work? Uh, and these remained the same. And it's, uh, these four are also the questions of the study I mentioned, uh, Garlic uh, and Schiel. Uh, that these are the, uh, uh, from their research, that, that were the questions also that, that they said they were determining the workability of unemployed. But it's, it's not the only question you have to ask, and that seemed important. Uh, we did uh, uh, put on a lot of uh, medical issues, but not in the real way. You see uh, an enormous amount of questions of, uh, concerning your health, with a lot of diseases mentioned. We, uh, we didn't do that, we just asked uh, how, how many, uh, if you ha have them, how many do you have, and is there, uh, are they validated by a doctor or uh, uh, by your, yourself? Based on your current health, do you expect to, find, uh, to be able to find a job? Uh, and uh, some questions about uh, I, the desired job you have to, that we asked also in the debate. What is the dream job do you want? What, what is your dream work? And there, there, there was a, a very nice question because it, it gave a lot of input for discussion. It gave also a lot of input to the discussion and were quite normal jobs, not like I want to be prime minister or the pope, or, yes, but, the, but quite usual, uh, reach, reach, reachable, we thought. There, there were jobs you could imagine that they should and could do, could do that. So then, oh, how do I go back? Uh, some of the results, uh, and I have to apologize by, for the statistical. It, it, it just, it's an experiment. We are testing, it's improving. It's not statistically correct. My professor would shoot me if, uh, if I should have presented that. I would lose my PhD immediately. <laughs> I mean, it's like testing the test group from 10 and comparing them with uh, 59,340. That is rather silly, I agree totally, but it gives you an impression on uh, what the outcomes are. Uh, this is the current workability compared to the highest workability ever. That is, that's the, the, the unemployment version of the first why question. And there you see, uh, the, the, we have three groups. Uh, the green one is the unemployed, the test group, the blue one is the control group, the employed, and the Y uh, 2022 is the 60,000 group, uh, as we say them. And it, well, what you see on the whole line is that uh, our test group is, uh, go, is, is, is lower, really lower, and some relatively low. Uh, well, let me tell you, because the chairman is looking at me. Uh, this is one, the number of physical mental conditions. We only, because we changed some of the sentences, so we couldn't compare it with the, the, the normal Y. Uh, but uh, the physical and mental conditions is about the same. I was uh, surprised by that. But these expect to work within now and two years and ability to work based on current health, that's really lower. And that's also the same picture with the next one the dimension of vitality questions. There you see also, are you being active, alert, full of hope for the future? They're all uh, quite low, but enjoying daily, that's not that, that, not that much of a difference. So then there's the final uh, uh, 
scorer. We have changed uh, a little bit the uh, index on how much the y, how do you uh, calculate the y, but we uh, corrected it the right, the right way, we hope, but anyway, uh, to give you just an impression. The y uh, of the unemployed is really substan substantially lower how they perceive their workability than uh, the, the, the regular y. It's a, a really very big difference. And one of the conclusions that points out is that when you are wanting to do something about unemployment, you have to make instruments and repair the workability or the ability to work for uh, the unemployed. It's restoring their, their working ability. How is an interesting aspect. There are different kinds of things. We see the why not as an instrument that is advising you how to do it, but more, hey, you have a problem. It's a more like a thermom... A very difficult word in Dutch and English, also thermometer, something like that. So it gives a signal, but not uh, uh, the solution or an answer of how it is. You have to make, based on the signal, you have to determine what, what is really happening here. Uh, and we think, on the whole, it points out positively that the instrument, the questionnaire, can be a useful instrument to use. Can be. But there must be st still a lot of work to do. Yes, yes. Um, one positive aspect also of the questionnaire was in the debate with uh, our uh, group was that they say it's an instrument of the person himself. They were, they were trained also by persons who were telling them, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to be like that. And they say, now I'm filling in my own questionnaire. Um, but as I say, lo uh, looking for work is a fundamental other starting point uh, than the question how to rem remain at work. Hey, you measure something, somebody outside the labor market instead of the Y where you measure something within the labor market. And there must also be room by, well, for questions about what kind of work someone wants to do and how much it is paid. One of the participants said, and if I can do that, how much money do I get? So he wanted questions about that. Then uh, the last one, what do you measure? Perhaps it's uh, something for the debate later on. And another aspect is the organization, how to get back to uh, work. The person I was telling which found work was a woman of 62 with a migrant background. She came from Morocco, there she was on, at university. She uh, graduated from children uh, health issues uh, and after uh, living a lot, uh, a, a big period in the Netherlands, she spoke very well Dutch, so that couldn't be the problem. But she's 62, a migrant, so there's no institute which is saying, hey, we want to get to help you. And she doesn't know the, the way also how to, do, to get back to work. So when you are working with these groups, it's important that you also have a lot of attention to the way uh, who, the, who the responsible institutes, how, how this all is organized and where the focus is on. Because she had a bit of luck. Jan and I knew somebody uh, at, the, uh, at the municipality of uh, The Hague, and now she's working uh, in a kindergarten. So that's uh, a reason also to go on experimenting with, uh, with these groups and asking them how can we be, how is your uh, workability and how can we improve and help you. That's uh, about it.